What's up, Crypto fam? What's up, XRP fam? It's the Bagman, back in the castle. How you guys doing out there? Hope everybody's doing well, holding strong, stuffing those bags, and most importantly, I hope you guys are all feeling bullish out there as we get closer to these moonshots. And if you're not feeling bullish, hopefully this video gets you back on your bull, because I'm gonna show you guys why the bull run is imminent and why we're running out of time before we hit that first moonshot. So without further ado, guys, let's dive into this video. It's different, but it's very pretty out here. Uh, I believe they're setting up the flag now. Here you guys can see I have the Bitcoin block reward having countdown and the estimated one for the next having is around May 2024. So about four years from now, we just had the previous one around May as well, this past May. And if you guys don't know what the Bitcoin having event is, it's part of Bitcoin's coin issuance. Miners are rewarded a certain amount of Bitcoins whenever a block is produced approximately every 10 minutes. When Bitcoin was first started, 50 Bitcoins per block were given as a reward to miners. After every about 200,000 blocks are mined approximately every four years, the block reward halves and will keep on having until the block reward per block becomes zero. And that's approximately by the year 2140. As of now, the block reward is 6.25 coins per block and will decrease to 3.125 coins post having. So that is the Bitcoin having guys. And it happens about every four years approximately. Here we have the past events. The first having occurred back in 2012 in November. The second one around July 2016. And the third one we just had just past us uh, May 11th, 2020. Guys, the Bitcoin having is pretty much an indicator and a sign for things to come. And it looks like it's a sign for the bull run that's coming. So let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into that. Guys, that was the Bitcoin having the next one coming up 2024. Here I have Jay Chu's chart for the Bitcoin having cycles. You guys can see here the first having 20, uh, 2012, the second having 2016, and the one that just passed us May 12th, 2020, just passed us a few months back. Uh, but if you guys can see after each having shortly after it looks like we go into a bull run if you guys could see here 2012 shortly after that we went into a bull run and then completed the cycle bear market accumulation same thing after this second having you guys can see shortly after when we got up to this third arrow things started to push up and things started to get bullish and pretty much went into this uh, next bull run same thing guys same cycle bear run and then accumulation phases and then we had the previous having that just passed us back in may so same thing guys we just pretty much jay has us filled in for this third arrow back here third arrow so it looks like we're getting really bullish here guys and things are starting or will start to ramp up here pretty soon pretty much already ramping up since the having we had that big dip back in March. Then we had the halving. If you guys can see the cycles do go a little bit longer as the cycles go. So if you see the first halving, the bull run wasn't as long, but the second one goes a little bit longer. And so the third one could draw out a little bit longer before we hit that first moon shot. But if you guys can see here after each halving, definitely things start ramping up after the halving. So let's dive in a little bit deeper guys. Um, we're here at the third arrow, like I said, after the having. Um, so here we have the Bitcoin, same chart, but I went ahead and filled this in myself so I could see it myself. So here we have the first having here. And then after the first having, like I said, things started to ramp up. We had our bull run here, our bull run phase right here. And then we went into pretty much the bear market. I just pretty much did the whole thing. So it would make it a little bit easier to see. We went all the way back into our next having date july 2016th right here and same thing guys right after the having things started to ramp up and we went into the bull run and then we went into the bear cycle same thing 
then we came up to this past having third having it just uh happened uh may 2020 and you guys can see here from my estimations it looks like we're around right here you guys can see the purple arrow but the same thing guys we're going into the bull run we're headed for that bull market we just had the halving so you guys can see here things need to start kicking up here the cycle needs to the cycle will continue i believe the halving that we just had was a sign and for things to start ramping up and if you guys can see here there's not much time left for this uh, bull cycle because once the bull cycle finishes it must go back into the bear cycle because the next halving is coming up 2024 so this thing cannot go past this this cycle must complete before this timing just like these previous cycles did they all completed and then they started the new cycle after the halving so let's go ahead and bring in this chart so like i said guys it looks like we're pretty much right here going into post having right here on this arrow so so like i said guys this in my opinion this cycle needs to complete for this fourth having in 2024 so that's i just copied this cycle over here to give you guys an estimate of what could happen and this is bitcoin so this is post having like i said you guys can see from each having point we went into a bull run shortly after and then it completed the bear bear cycle same thing over here and guys pretty much the same thing is going to happen over here we're pretty much right there at the doorstep for things to pop off and like i said this uh, cycle does not have much time it must do its thing it must complete this cycle just like it did these previous times so let's go ahead and look at the xrp xrp one so it's the same thing here guys the first having uh, xrp wasn't around the first having happened somewhere back here but you can see um it did come in around the peak of that bull run around 2013 let's check out bitcoin around 2013 you see right here bitcoin was uh pushing up around there and it pretty much ended bitcoin started to go down around december 2013 and if you can see here xrp was just uh just finishing off its push up around that same time of that first bitcoin cycle so even though xrp jumped in late it still had the effects of that bull run cycle from post having and if you guys can also see here the second having 2016 come back here 2016 the second having xrp did pretty much the same thing after the second having took about 259 days to make its first shot and then about 546 days from the having so it ended the the bull cycle and then we went into this bear cycle and then we just hit our third having right here for xrp so guys if we compare it to this chart we're probably somewhere around this area right here like i said back on this second having it took almost 260 days to hit its first moonshot so right here we're pretty much right there guys let me bring this part in to show you guys so if you guys can see i copied this pattern over here just to give us an estimate and like i said this pattern pretty much has to finish guys before this next having comes up so if you guys can see this estimate here um and it almost looks the same as well guys you see from the previous one come up uh come down a little bit more the previous time and then it shot up so if we're going to compare it to this one guys the first moonshot we're looking in about looking at about three to four months according to this 
before we hit that first shot first moon shot and uh it looks like the cycle will end somewhere around december of 2021 january 2022 somewhere around there the cycles won't be exact but it's just a rough estimate um so pretty much our strategy over at jay's crypto market structure is to get out at this top around the third moon shot around next year at the end of next year hit that third moon shot cash out and then you know we'll wait for the accumulation phase and do it again guys but like i said the cycle is creeping up for our first moon shot here guys this cycle is running out of time before it does its thing because it still has to do complete the bull market and then it still needs to complete this bear market before we hit this fourth halving in May 2024. And look at this, guys. It's pretty much matching up just like the previous one. But like I said, these tend to go a little bit longer as each cycle goes. The bull run could go a little longer. The bear market could go a little longer. But as we see here, guys, we are right there, right at the doorsteps for our first moonshot. I'm going to say three to four months before we hit our first moonshot and that should take us to all time highs so yeah we have the bitcoin here one same thing guys it's gonna complete its cycle as well it's just a matter of time according to this we're right there guys the having looks like an indicator for the bull run and what's to come so that's pretty much all i got for this video guys we're looking at the bitcoin having dates and how it affects the market and the cycles and like i said guys the cycle is here and we're just right there at the doorsteps and i hope you guys continue to stay strong out there continue stuffing those bags continue to hold strong continue to stay bullish out there guys we are right there three to four months but anything can happen in that time we're right here in that bull run so xrp could pop at any time but giving us a, a rough estimate, it could take us about another three to four months before we hit that first moonshot. And by the end of next year, we should be hitting that third moonshot end of next year, beginning of, of 2022. And then you guys can see here uh, the bear bear market. And then the next having. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys continue to stay bullish out there. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, but you guys know I'm stuffing my bags with XRP. The best, the fastest, the most secure, most scalable, most cost efficient, eco-friendly. Send money anywhere in the world instantly. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are. I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys, and stay bullish. Thank you.